Christian friends. Yes. You're absolutely amazing. God bless you, brother. Thank you, my friend. God is good. That's all? Well, yeah, unless you want to <laughs> chat. <laughs> but, do I don't you, mind. but do you see how they lie? I mean, do you see how amazing they lie? They fabricate yeah. numbers, they fabricate books, they fabricate titles. And when you hear them, you think you're like, oh, maybe he's telling the truth. You know, like, okay, you know, he's, look, look how fast he gave me the number. Even Christian Prince cannot do that. Everyone was started laughing when he said Skype is not the internet. <laughs> Skype is not the internet. But but you see, he, he it's made created, by sticks. He created, yeah, it's a stick. He created, he created a number, he created a, a book, he created a chapter. Um in the book of uh Sahih al Makhtoum, etc. Like what the heck is that? <laughs> yeah. The one I'm showing yeah. you in the screen, this is the highest resource for Muslims. This is not a joke. This is the right. biggest Shia library in the world. I see it and I show it in the screen. So right. when he's when when a, when a Muslim always he say to you, this is what I'm trying to teach the Christian here. When a Muslim he says something to you, tell him, show me. Don't let it go. Because right. they assume if you notice the one before him is a Sunni, they are the same scam. When we get him busted in the corner, right away he starts talking about the gospel because now, oh, I need to escape, I need to escape. Let us talk about something else. This is very embarrassing. Let us go, let us go and, and fabricate lies about the Old Testament. Mm. So what they do, they throw rocks and they run and they change the topic. What the Christians usually do, they start refuting what they said about the Bible and that will make them get away from the first topic. This is what the Muslim he want. The Muslim, he wants you to forget yeah. how stupid his cult and now to focus in your, you defend. The best way to, uh, to, to, to defend is to attack according to them. So, so what we do, here we go. He said to me that if this is a book from Shaitan, then how this book is teaching good things. How you say that Islam Muslims are strict? I never said Muslims are strict. Islam is the most lousy religion. You can marry women every day. You can have sex with four women at the same time. You can, right. you know, it's a, a muta. There's even the Muslim Sunni today. They change the name of a muta and they have a different names. So was your friend, boyfriend, but they call it marriage, but it's it's not. So all of them, and this is my advice for the Christian: when you debate with the Muslim, don't let him get away with it. When he says something, say to him, "Show me." Right, right. All right, my friend. Anything else? Uh, I have a quick question. This this may be a. a totally off topic but okay. it's related to islam um i, I came across a uh a muslim he, he claims to be muslim his name is wesley muhammad mm -hmm. he uh he states that allah is a man and he goes to surah 4251 that speaks about how allah communicates through a hijab and that hijab is a uh, like a second allah like a visible tangible allah and that apparently muhammad saw Allah's young golden face. Are you familiar with, with this literature? Yeah, but I will I will prove it to you in a different way that Allah absolutely is not a man. I mean, God, Allah is a joke, is a is a fiction story. But you know, the, the, I don't know if you saw the Muslim, they say how God can be born, right? Yeah. How God can be born. They say the 10 reason Jesus cannot be God because God cannot be born. The second you say God cannot, that's mean he cannot be God. For Muslims, God can be stupid, but he cannot be born. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. If we go in the Quran, in the Hadith, you will find that Muhammad, if you remember, we mentioned before, that Muhammad, he claimed that his God will come in a shape other than the one which the Muslims, they knew. You, you saw me speaking about this story before, correct? I, I think so, yeah. All right. Now, if God cannot be born and Allah will come in a new shape, isn't it this is a re be born again? For sure, not in the Christian meaning. When Allah is coming in a new shape, isn't it this is a born, new born shape? How God cannot be born, and yet how God he have a shape. And if Allah is not a man, what the shape of this person and why he is a change in his shape? And what, what happened to the first shape? So now because we now we have two physical shapes. Allah number one and Allah number two. So what Allah did, Allah number one did to Allah number two when he became Allah number two. He hang himself in the closet or both they are walking together. And so th would you say that this is a, an example of a very early form of like a trinity? 
but in a very warm. No, no, manner. it's just like a, it's, it's just a, it's, it's just a stupid man, you know, making making up stories. Muhammad, he cannot stop making poo poo. He cannot stop making poo poo. This guy, you know, like like uh, in the, in the Middle East, when there is somebody, he is so naive, and they wanna like we have a tradition. You wanna go and ask for a daughter of somebody to marry you. So if you are naive, the parents will say to you, when you go there, don't open your mouth, don't talk, don't talk. Why? Because the second you talk, they will know that you are a fool. Muhammad, he cannot keep his mouth shut. So he keep talking and telling stories. And here we go. Muhammad is coming with the stories that Allah have shaped number one and shaped number two. As long as Allah has I a see. shape. Uh, remember, Allah is a physical shape. Muslims, all of them agree that Allah is not a spirit and he has no spirit. But yet he is a physical being. So, so now. So doesn't this, doesn't this then help the Ford Muhammad interpretation? That, that that particular subset group, the the uh, what's it called, the Nation of Islam, that believe that Ford Muhammad is Allah, a, a black man. Well, you know, there is many sect, many. He has a I, shape. I cannot judge other sect by you know by they create their own stories and their interpretation. But I, I focus on Muhammad himself. How you go? This is Muhammad, is speaking okay. that his God, he have a shape and he changes shape. So when Allah he changes his shape, that's mean he is a changeable. Correct, right? Okay, but the yeah. Muslim they say Allah never change. How you say to me Allah yeah, never it, change, yeah. but he's a yeah. changeable. And when we talk about the shape, that's mean he have totally different look. To the point, even the Muslim they did not recognize him, and they thought he is a shaitan. To the point, they say to him, they will say, "We seek refuge with Allah from you." So here, Allah is reborn again with a new shape. And the Muslims will not like his shape. Then Allah will come to them with the shape which they like. So Allah will come to them when our Lord come to us, we will recognize him. Then Allah will come to them in a shape they know. And they, he will say, I am your Lord. And then the Muslim, they will say, no doubt, you are our Lord. So the Muslims are shape worshiper. They are not worshiping God. He will, their God himself, just because he changed his shape, they don't follow him no more are you following my idea so exactly so then the question i would have for a muslim is in this life how do you know that that's Allah's shape or not like what is it isn't what, this what they do with jesus jesus he came to them in a shape they don't like yeah exactly yeah <laughs> this is what they did with jesus so here we go yeah they yeah. they do they will do the same with their god exactly as they are doing with jesus because they did not like the shape of jesus he came in the shape of a man how god can be a man you know so yeah, this is and, exactly and what happened. That's a brilliant way of yeah, that's that's brilliant because then this would the, yeah, I mean John chapter one is the, verse fourteen, the, the logos became flesh. You can use this as a means to polemically refute the theology. Well, in different hadith, in different hadith, Muhammad he said it clearly that Allah is the Messiah. Let me show you. Muhammad is, is a very stupid man, very confused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The more I watch your interactions with Muslims, the more I, I'm noticing that. The madness, huh? The Prophet said, I have told you so much about the Antichrist. Okay, Muhammad now, he is the philosopher who will tell us what the Antichrist. That I am afraid that you may not understand. And then he continues saying, the Antichrist is short. Okay. Hinted, woolly haired, one eyed and eye sightless, and neither protruding nor deep seated. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord, which means Allah, is not one-eyed. Like, hold on. Muhammad here is making a big poo-poo. This is, should be compared between the real Christ and the false Christ because the Muslim, they believe the Antichrist is not just an Antichrist. It's, they call him a Dajjal, which means somebody claim to be the Messiah. He is a false Christ. You see here, they put for you the word Antichrist. The fact it's not, it does not exist here. This is Al Masih al Dajjal. Al Dajjal is the false Messiah. Someone will come and will say, I am the Messiah, worship me. So, what Muhammad is saying to them, right. you need to notice here, you might not understand. I'm worried. You might be confused. What is the confusion about? About the look. But remember, the Dajjal or the false Messiah, he looked as a man. So, why Muhammad is worried? about how Allah look 
and how the false messiah look and he says the only difference between them is one eye if allah is not a man ah right so, and you're connecting it back to that shape that you're talking about right a moment ago. but here you yeah. see it's very clear he's comparing a man to god and what is the difference between them one eye the, the, the one eye yeah. he didn't say anything else he confirmed that allah have an eye the same as an eye of a man but the difference is that this guy at the jail he have a problem with the right eye now isn't it true that in the bible i think in zechariah it speaks about the false prophet having a, 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 a he's injured in one eye and He's known as the idle shepherd. Well, he, you know, Muhammad always, all, all the story of Muhammad is coming from somewhere. Yeah, so this is why the title today, uh, Quran story is made by who? All the stories right. of Muhammad is coming. From, Muhammad is not really, you see Muhammad, he hears stories and he adds some spices. Hmm. You know, he's like a CNN. Then speaking of which, like, um, one thing that's fascinated me is the, the what's Satan Iblis, Iblis, Iblis. who did not worship Iblis. Uh, Adam in mm. in heaven. Mm. What what fascinates me is is why that's even wrong because surely you should only worship Allah and not Adam. Like why why was he punished for not worshiping Adam? Well, uh, for, uh, the Muslim they say uh, Allah he ordered uh, the angels to bow down because the angels they accuse Adam that he will do commit a sin and here we see that the story here is a very stupid story because adam commits sin <laughs> <laughs> okay i mean you are punishing them for accusing adam to commit sin but he commits sin which means they are right and allah is wrong so right uh, 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 but i want to show you here as, as you mentioned uh, you mentioned this story i want to show you the stupidity of allah in the quran you know that in the Bible it says that God he he taught Adam the names. He taught Adam the names, and Muhammad he took that. But look what he made of it. In the Quran, the story became so funny and so stupid. Let us read together. The angels, when Allah he told the angels, <clears throat> he told them. Behold, the Lord said to the angels, I will create someone to inherit the earth. They said, Will thou place therein a one who will make mischief in therein and will shed blood? So the angels they made a very clear claim that Adam is going to do mischievement. And yeah, then, he's gonna uh, send that. Yeah, and then Allah he said to them, uh and we are the one who uh, celebrate you and praise you and glorify your holy name allah he said to them i know what you know not and here the story is the cartoon the mickey mouse start i know what you know not which means allah is going to get them busted like christian press so let us see how allah <laughs> how allah he knew what they knew not look what he said and he taught adam the names of all things then he placed for them then placed them before the angels which means the, the things he named things and he told Adam the names and he placed all the things in the front of the angel. And he said to them, tell me the names of those things. If you are right, right about what? Right about Adam will do mischievement and he will shed blood, which means his, 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 his seeds. So tell me the names of those things if you are right. So Allah now is trying to prove to them that you have no knowledge and I am the one who knows. But look how stupid this method to prove that he is God and he knew everything. Imagine I have a cat, I call her Susu. And I say to you, do you know the name of my cat? You say, no. I say, see, I told you I'm God. Her name is Susu. If he is the one who taught, <laughs> you know what I mean? If he is the one who yeah. named the names of things, what about we do it in the opposite way? What about he said to the angels, go and name things and come back to me and ask me about what you named them. Then I will tell you, that would be amazing, correct? Yeah, but you are the one who named them and then you ask them tell me the name of those things and then you say to them the names and that to prove that you are God that right. is the most stupid story ever anyone who will write a story can come with <laughs> I mean this 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 is on the same level as um, the, the, the myth about Abraham in the fire of the Chaldeans uh, based on a mistranslation of the word or 
uh, that uh, a Hebrew scribe, not realizing it's Ugaritic, translates the Hebrew word or, which means city, to mean fire. And then that mm. enters into the Quran, and Allah did not know the difference between Ugaritic and Hebrew or Aramaic. Allah, Allah you know nothing. And here you notice, by the way, there's a mistake yeah. here. Allah, he says that he, he will send somebody to inherit the earth. But that means there's people who used to live in the earth before. And that's and that in total agreement with the Sabian. The Sabian they believe that there was people before who live in earth, and most likely they are angels. If you know the story of Harut and Marut, Harut and Marut, where Allah He sent two angels to open a magical school, Hoributa. Chapter two. This is fascinating. I have no idea about this. Go, go ahead. I have no yeah. idea what this is. Allah, He decided to open a school in Iraq in the Babylon, to open a school to teach magic, and Harry Potter He went there, as you see. So He sent angels, and the angels. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I say it. Maybe my accent is. Uh, you know, I have an no, accent. No, 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 no. It's it's good. It's yeah. it's it's pretty much on point. It's yeah. accurate. Chapter 2, chapter 2, verse 102, it says that Allah, he sent two angels in the Babylon. One of his name is Harut, and one his name is Marut. And by the way, they are my cousins. And those cousins of mine, they open a school in the Babylon. Before you join the school, those angels, they will make you sign a disclaimer. They will say, they, but those, they neither taught anyone such a thing, which means magic, without saying we are only a trial so don't do blasphemy disclaimer disclaimer <laughs> <laughs> oh boy and and yet they say to us this is the book of god then if we go in the details we will find that so what's the logic that that's only a trial what, what's the logic there well, why, Allah, why did allah uh, do that muhammad he want to explain how magic is exist you know so uh, okay. There is a, these legions. All of those are legions was exist before Muhammad. That there is two, uh, uh, two angels. Their name is uh, you know. This is why you see the names are weird. They are not Arabic names, and they came in the Babylon Tower because the Babylon is the elevator of of God. So, Allah He sent them in the Babylon, and uh, uh, you know, when they they were, when they were sent down, they opened a school because Allah He sent them that for that school. Uh, but in the same time, oh, to teach them about the Babylon story, but at the same time to punish them. Yeah, but and, and, uh, look, no, there's two stories here. This is the Quran. Okay. The Quran, the Quran is a plain ahead. story; it doesn't go in details. But if you go in other books, they will say that Harut and Marut. You see, if you go in the verse which we spoke about before, where the angels they say to Allah, "Are you going in chapter?" In, uh, 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 you know, we'll talk about uh, are you going to create someone who will inherit the earth? So they said to him, uh, and he was going to do mischievement. In this story here, supposedly the angels, they when they challenge Allah, Allah he said to them, Okay, I want you to send me to choose two of your best, and from those two, I'm going to send to earth and I will strip them from. Uh, uh, from the power of angels, which means they will not be, uh, uh, you know, it, it, I will give them desire like a human being, desire for sex, desire for food, you know. So, right. Right. Uh, uh, so they choose two angels, and they are Harut and Marut. And then Harut and Marut, when Allah He sent them down, uh, a woman who is very beautiful. Came to them. Her name is Al Zuhra, Al Zuhra, which means Venus. Here you can tell where the story coming from. Ah, like a pre-Islamic uh, astrology. Correct. So right. Al Zuhra, Al Zuhra, uh, is Venus, and uh, Venus came to them, and she uh, she is very beautiful, so they could not resist her beauty. And, uh, you know, she, uh, they ask her to sleep with them. Uh, so when, when they ask her to sleep with them, she said, if you do things for me, I will try to find you the story so it's short in the screen. 
if you if you want to sleep with me, you have to do three things. Number one, you have to kill a child. Number two, you have to drink wine. Number three, you have to de to, to to deny Allah that is God. In the same time, she asked them to give him to give her the password to go to heaven. So to make the story uh, simple, uh, as Zuhra, she was able to sleep with the two angels, have sex with them, and they gave her the password to heaven. But when she went up to heaven, the news came to Allah, and Allah cursed her, and he made her Venus. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. And uh, if any Muslim here, he don't believe in what we are saying, we can show you the reference. You know, I can is, find is, it. Is this, chronologically, is this before the creation of Adam? Like, wh when's, when's the timeline of, of these events in there's no, the universe's uh, history? Obviously, like, there's, if, there's, no, there's no time even for this. Is, uh, this is fiction. But obviously, this has happened yeah, yeah. before mankind is created, supposedly. Okay. But at the same time, you, you find in the story, there's something stupid. I mean, how you say to them, you want to kill a child if there's no mankind? Right. When they were in the tent, a guy he opened the, the door of the tent and he found them naked with her. And he told them, I'm going to tell everybody what you did. So the women, she told them, go and kill him. And this is how they killed him. So how there is no right. mankind. So it's, it's a, you know, uh, it's a madness. It's a collection of stupid stories. And Muhammad, he is the collector. So does this connect with the, the worship of the black stone and the, 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 where they walk a certain direction, a certain, like, they walk when they do the Hajj, they walk in a certain direction because it's all based on that pre Islamic astrology and uh, uh, everything pagan, like a form of paganism. Yeah, everything Muhammad he yeah. have, every story, not necessarily connected. Muhammad is a collection, is a Muhammad is a walk of video of fairy tale stories. Any story he hear, he put it in the Quran right away, or he put it in his hadith. Anything he like, he find it interesting right away, he accept it. And he make it as it is a true story. So you find the story as an example of the Seven Sleepers, which is a fiction story written by Yaqub Asuriani, who is a Syrian bishop uh, uh, originally. And he wrote a story about how Christians today they are discriminated, but tomorrow will be victorious. Muhammad, he heard the story, he put it in the Quran. And just to show you how funny Muhammad, when he make a story, the story is beautiful, by the way, nothing wrong with the story, even though it's fiction. But all the Christian knew that this is a fiction story. But look what happened. Muhammad, when he want to write any story, or let us say add a story to his book, he have to add his spices. Otherwise, people, they will notice right away that he is copying exactly word by word. And by because of that, Muhammad, he make it funny. Read with me this. Uh, I don't know if you can see my screen, my friend. No, I, yeah, I, I'm okay. seeing it on YouTube. Chapter 18, verse number 22, it says, some they say they were three, and this is supposedly the, the 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 guys who they are Christians. So Allah talking now, not Muhammad. Some they say, okay, what they say, they are three, and their dogs is fourth. And others they say they were five, and their dog is being six. And other they say. They wear seven, and their dog is number eight. I mean, what this is about? Tell us what the number, man. <laughs> right. What is, what is the number? And what is this dog? No, hold on. Okay. The dog here is an. This is this is a different story. This is a different level of the stupidity. I will go there later. But or no, no, first of all, when you count a human being, you don't say, and their dog is number four. Because they are from oh, different yeah, kind. Yeah, yeah. We don't yeah. say four men and one apple. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. that is stupid. So they say there are three dogs because they, this is the question they ask Muhammad, how many they are? And Muhammad do not know what to say. So they say uh, three and their dog is number four. And they say, they're, they're, by the way, here he skipped something. He skipped like his jump from three and their dog is number uh, four. What about you say you should say and uh, and they are four and their dog is number five he, right, he skipped right. that and then he says say my lord know the best of their number what is the number <laughs> Allah knows best 
I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this? Now, if we go here to the Arabic text, in Arabic it says, سَيَقُولُونَ ثَلَاثَ رَابِعُهُمْ كَلْبَهُمْ This is the word dog, supposedly. But the original word is not kalbahum, it is kali'ahum, which means their protector. Protector. Ah, oh, interesting. The, the Christian story, the fiction Christian story, is saying that God, he provided them with an angel who he blocked the cave door so the army cannot get a close. And that makes sense. I mean, a dog is going to protect and uh, will fight an army. <laughs> I mean, right. one dog, a king is sending an army to kill the, those Christians. And then a dog, he's standing in front of the cave and he make the army run away. That would be a joke. So the dog the, box. Yeah. Muhammad, he's copying the story, but he mixed up between Kalbahum and Kaliahum. Kaliahum is what is in the Christian story, which means their provider and protector, which is an angel. And this is why you will see it says that this, this dog, he was opening his arms. Basiton Dara'i. Dogs don't have arms, my friend. They don't. Right. They have four legs. So when Muhammad he says, Basiton Zara'i, he is copying the story from the Christian uh, uh, fiction book. Again, this is not a real story, this is a fiction story. But Muhammad is copying from there and he is messing up the story. So the dog, he was opening his hands, his arms, sorry. And supposedly by doing that, he is like uh, guarding them, you know, Basiton Dira'ihi. He protect them so he, they, they cannot get in. Uh, what, what Muhammad here doing is simply a copy paste, but he miss some translation or let us say uh, he, he lost in, in the details. Read with me here. It says, Though wits, wits have deemed them awake, so you think they are awake, but Allah made them sleep. Whilst they were asleep, and we turned them on the right and in their left side. The writer of the story, he explained how they can survive all those years. So, uh, the angel, he made them flip from the right to the side to the, because they are asleep, totally asleep. They are not aware. And then their dog is stretching forth his, here, they, they put here, his two, four legs. Have you ever heard of such a statement? Two, four legs? <laughs> two, four uh, legs? What, what, this, what, what does that mean? This is two? directly in the Quran, right? This is Surah 18. It's in, a, it's in the front of us. Yeah, this is a chapter 18, yeah. verse number 18. In Arabic, yeah. it says, Basitun dira'ayhi. He opened his two hands, his two arms. If we change the translator, we will find the following. Just change the translator, you will see how the translation changed in a speed of light, proving the, the, the fictions of Muslims. Uh, if we go to, let us see, Bikta. All right. By, by the way, I have Usama Daktok's translation, that, and I'm That's comparing good. it with, That's with good. that. Yeah. You see here it says, and the dog stretching out his bows. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but in Arabic, it says, his two hands. They are trying to cover the problem here. And everybody tried to come with the fictions. What we will say, I mean, come on, how, how a dog can have a two hands? But because the original story is speaking about an angel who opened his two arms or two wings to protect them. Let us see the front translation. Uh, Let's see Shakir. So wait, if if this was a dog, I'm just saying for the sake of argument, if this was a dog, hmm. that means you have a dog standing on its two hind legs and its two front legs are stretched out in the air, saying, "Go away." <laughs> yeah, it doesn't <laughs> make sense like anyway. That. I mean, what a dog yeah. can do anyway. Actually, if you go into the tafsir, they say that the dog he was a cook. <laughs> He's a you know, cook? He cooked for them. Yeah, some 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 stories they say he was a cook. Oh my god. Yeah, gosh. I have I have I used to have a dog, he cooked for me always. <laughs> this you know, you know, this this would be a gold mine of, of like a comedy show. You you should seriously think about it. You should just make a comedy show. My friend honestly. I have I have almost nine hundred right now watching because this is a comedy show. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling.
Let us see no if we God, can get more calls. You, you busted the Muslims, that's for sure. Thank you, my friend. Take care. Take care. You know, when you speak to Muslims, you have you have to play their game. They don't they don't debate. They are gamers. They are just gamers. They will never answer a question. The second you you hit hard, straight away they will jump speak about the Old Testament. Do you know that Lut, his daughter, they had sex with him? Okay, and how you say that the Jews corrupted their book, but they did not burn that pages? They can burn it as long as those people corrupted their book. And what this have to do with God anyway? 